I'm William Dennis, a product manager for GKE Autopilot. I'm excited to introduce a new mode of operation for Google Kubernetes Engine that we think you will like. If you're new to Kubernetes, it's the industry standard way to deploy and manage application containers, making it efficient to develop and publish internet-based applications. GKE was the first managed Kubernetes service to the market over five years ago, and remains the most scalable and reliable platform, with an industry-leading 15,000 node capability. And it's brought to you by a team that makes more technical contributions to the Kubernetes project than any other company. Kubernetes gives you a container application platform on which to run your services. But what does it actually take to run this platform? There's quite a lot of aspects from the control plane provisioning and management to worker node creation and patching. Since its launch, GKE has taken care of most of these elements for you. But there are a couple of things that were still your responsibility, like configuring and managing node pools. We figured that what you really care about most is running your own applications and services on GKE and not the configuring and monitoring of the compute that they run on. So we looked at what more we could do to help. That's why I'm happy to introduce GKE Autopilot, a new mode of operation for GKE. With Autopilot, the node configuration and management is now our responsibility as well, so you can focus more on your own applications and services that run on top. With Autopilot, everything is auto-provisioned. All you need to do is name the cluster, pick a region, set the network, and deploy your workload with Kubernetes. And once things are provisioned, Google is responsible for managing the nodes and keeping them running. When it comes to the bill, you pay for pods and not VMs. Let me drill into each of these a little further. I mentioned that with Autopilot, we have auto-provisioned everything. What this means in practice is that your pod and deployment configuration is also the complete cluster specification. We provision compute resources based on the resource needs you specify in your pod spec. There's minimal cluster setup with no need to figure out what size and shape of nodes should be provided for your workloads. We also apply all the latest security best practices automatically. You've already been able to offload many cluster operational responsibilities to Google, and now this applies to nodes as well. And since we're now managing the nodes, they're more locked down, which also serves to prevent accidental or intentional modifications that can cause issues. Even with us managing everything, you can still use features like maintenance windows and pod disruption budgets to govern how and when updates occur. In fact, we're so confident of our management of this new platform that we're offering a pod level SLA in GKE for the first time. This SLA offers three nines of uptime for pods running in multiple zones. The other major difference is how you're built. Since you now specify your resources at a pod level, that's how you're built as well. Your pods are built per second for vCPU, memory, and disk resource requests. System components, the operating system overhead, and most importantly, unused capacity is no longer your concern. Once you scale a workload down, the associated charges cease immediately. GKE's free tier includes Autopilot, giving you one free zonal or Autopilot cluster, so you can give it a try and just pay for the pods you deploy. Despite being fully managed, GKE Autopilot is still GKE and supports nearly the full gamut of workload capabilities. Workloads requiring stateful set and even daemon set are supported at launch, and more support is on the roadmap. We think you shouldn't have to compromise when it comes to your Kubernetes application platform, and built Autopilot with that in mind. From the outset, we said to ourselves that Autopilot is GKE, and we want you to hold us to that. Popular administrative workloads from our partners in areas like logging and monitoring are either supported now or on the roadmap. Basically, the only workloads we don't expect to be compatible with this new mode of operation are custom administrative workloads that might be used for low-level node management tasks, exactly the kind of thing which we hope won't be needed in Autopilot. And one more thing. We've actually been running a private preview for a few months and are pleased to announce that Autopilot is launching as generally available and ready for your production workloads. With that, I'd like to take you through a quick demo of what Autopilot can do. To create an autopilot cluster, all you need to do is give it a name, pick your favorite region, and set the network if you have any particular networking requirements. In my case, I'll leave the network as the default public cluster and click Create. Creation takes a couple of minutes, so let me switch to one I've created earlier. To connect to this cluster, I click the Connect button and copy the connection command to my clipboard. Now, from the command line, I'll paste that command to authenticate kubectl so it can access the cluster. The demo I'm going to deploy today is from the GKE sample repository. So let's clone that repository from GitHub and change into the sample directory. Finally, I'm going to apply the Kubernetes configuration of the guestbook sample. 
Now this sample consists of a PHP front-end with a Redis back-end. Now if you've deployed Redis before, you'll be aware that it does have a few resource requirements. In the past, you may have had to configure your node pools to ensure that they have enough capacity. But with Autopilot, we do that for you. This takes about a minute to provision, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Let's go ahead and grab the IP address of this sample application and check it out. So I pasted that IP address into my browser, loaded it up, and I can give it a quick test. And that was Autopilot. With the introduction of Autopilot, GKE is now available in two modes of operation, Standard and Autopilot. Standard is the experience that we've been building since the launch of GKE, where you have full control over the nodes with the ability to fine tune things to your heart's content. For example, running custom administrative workloads and even tweaking the node operating system itself. Autopilot is a hands-off, fully managed solution that empowers you to focus on your workloads while we take care of the rest. Both modes of operation are generally available and fully supported by Google Cloud. So please choose whichever best suits your needs. To learn more about Autopilot, please follow this link to g.co slash autopilot.